I'm joined now by Artist America. America, thank you so much for being here. You travel all over, making the country, the world, a more beautiful place. And I want to talk about that, but tell me when you first fell in love with art. Um, so I've always been an artist ever since I was five years old, and I continued my love for art all through high school. It was my favorite subject. But when I graduated high school, I decided to go more into the digital realm, and I went to college for graphic design. But after I graduated college, I was feeling very inspired. Um, I wasn't interested in really finding a job in my field, and I was going through that turmoil that we sometimes go through after college. So I remember for my final project in college, we had to create a resume for the working world. And a graphic designer can't just have like a Word document resume. It has to be creative. Sure. So I really was procrastinating this project like really bad <laughs> and to the point where it was like, okay, I have to do this today. There's no getting around it. So I just like, I had this stack of magazines and I started flipping through these magazines to get some sort of inspiration. And this is where something in my brain kind of clicked. And I'm a collage artist by nature. So um, I do cut and paste. I find images and I use this in my murals as well. So different images and I paste them together to make a new image. So this is when um, I got this like spark in my brain and I started cutting up all these images to make this resume project. And I can't really explain what happened. It's hard for me to put it into words, but basically my whole life changed. Like I started creating art 24 seven. I went from sleeping until 2 p.m. every day and you know dragging myself to work to jumping out of bed in the morning. Um, and just everything was about this collage art. And this is how I eventually got into mural art because I was so inspired by my collages. I loved them so much that I wanted them to be bigger and so other people could enjoy them as well. So my brain, um, if I look at an image, I'm not looking at the image, I'm looking at what I can cut away from the image and add to the image to make it more interesting. Mm -hmm. That's how my brain works and, um, it, and I do that with my murals as well. Um, and so what had happened was I mentioned that I wanted to make my murals bigger. Well, um, it's kind of a long crazy story, but basically there was a mural artist, a really well-known mural artist in California doing an artist call and he was inviting artists to come help him install a mural in Minneapolis. Well, it wasn't a paid, it's not a paid um, internship because he's so well known that like people will come from Germany to come paint with him. Sure. Like he's not gonna pay me to like, it's someone that's never painted a mural. <laughs> but, um, so I didn't have the money to pay for my rent and go intern with this guy for a month. But I knew that housing would be covered because he like would rent a house and everyone would kind of live there. So I, made the decision to get rid of everything I owned and move into my vehicle and probably 24 hours to um, go intern with this guy. And so you literally gave up everything. I got rid of everything. For your art. Mm -hmm. You went to Minneapolis mm -hmm. and did I, this internship and that was your first really foray into mural work. Yeah, so I interned with John Pugh and um, he's he makes hundreds of thousands of dollars a mural. So I was like, yep, that's what I want to do. <laughs> I want that job. Yeah. So, and I, and I had already explained that I wanted my collages to be bigger because they were so inspiring to me. I was like, I, I know. Uh, even if one person walks past a mural that I paint and feels how I'm feeling right now, it's all worth it. Um, so after I left the internship, I, I did know that I was going to go on this nomadic journey because I, I didn't have an apartment and I didn't really have money to get an apartment, to be honest. It wasn't like an option. I had my car that I had just paid off. Um, so <laughs> small I had, miracle. <laughs> had my, yeah, had my car. Time, timing was really crucial. And everything like timing was just yeah. really on my side. Yeah. And I think that really comes with the trust. When you throw yourself headfirst into what you love, you don't have to know the next step. It's mm. like you're going to be supported, and you follow that feeling, that inspiration. There, there. You don't need to know the how. You just need to know that you're that you trust in it and it's real and you follow that. So when you went on to the next mural that you ended up doing, did you feel like you had a new um, amount of knowledge from this internship or were you still kind of freaking out? 
So even to this day when I'm painting a mural, I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm very good at what I do because I trust and yeah. I know that I'm not supposed to know what I'm doing every single time. That's not what this is. I wouldn't say that I had a new knowledge when I ended that internship. I would say that I had a, um, a new confidence. Mm. I felt confident. Mm -hmm. So um, I faked it till I yeah. made it the whole <laughs> way, the whole way. Yeah. Um, but um, I, so basically I went to Wisconsin after Minneapolis and I was just couch surfing at the time. So this is basically um, an app that you get on and you can stay with people for free for typically short periods of time, a week, two weeks. And it's like a community of travelers. Well, I ran into a guy in, uh, I had messaged two people, one in Milwaukee and one in a, um, a different city in Wisconsin. I don't remember why I picked Wisconsin. <laughs> I was just going there. But you were trusting something. <laughs> yeah. So the, yeah. So the the first person to message me back was in Milwaukee, and so I was like, cool. I'm going to Milwaukee. <laughs> so I um I went there and I was um, staying with this person, and he he just ended up being super cool, and he's like, you can stay as long as you want, and I'm like, okay. So I um got a job in Milwaukee, and I was saving up for a van because all I had was my car, and I knew I needed a van to like. I was planning on living in a van and traveling. Um, I didn't have any money. So I started saving money and I um, told this guy I was that I was staying with to trade for him. I was like, hey, I can totally paint a mural in your place as a trade for staying here for so long because I stayed there for like a month. So that was like my first like on my own mural. Yeah. It was terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I shouldn't say it was terrible. It just, it was so um, simple, mm -hmm. very simple. Mm -hmm. And um, that was my first my first mural on my own, but then I was thinking, well, I've already painted in Minneapolis, I've already painted in Wisconsin, and I should just paint one in all the states. You know, I should just keep going. That's really where America Paints America was born. Was born, yeah. Wow. Tell me a little bit about your process. You already mentioned that when you look at an image, you are more looking at what you can take away and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. which is fascinating to me. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you a get started and b how do you make a, a collage into a mural my brain sees images with with the like whenever whenever i feel inspired i get images in my brain on a loop like a movie reel mm. and then um i'm also very organized so i don't know if this has something to do like if it's like the organization mixed with the artistry but like my brain is able to take images and sort them. Uh, so I can look at a blank wall and I can see an image on it and then I can sort images in my brain. <laughs> That's fascinating. So it's like a puzzle. Hmm. So I don't really know what it's gonna look like at first either. I take the image that I like. I like certain images. I'm drawn to certain images based off of composition, based also off of color. And so I cut away all the parts of the image that I don't care about and I have the image that I like and then I piece it together with other images. Mm -hmm. So I have to put a bit more thought into what I'm creating when I'm creating a mural because this could affect different, first of all I want to amplify the amount of people that I'm inspiring so I have to be mindful of the imagery and I also have to be very clear with my imagery because imagery can be misinterpreted very easily. Absolutely. But um, typically when I'm designing a mural, I'm really putting into consideration who I'm reaching, what's the audience. I, I will try to picture the audience that I'm reaching and what I want to say to them because being able to reach a large group of people with an image and inspire them is a big responsibility and also um, my job. So. so America Paints America, how far have you gotten throughout the country? How many states are left? Um, so I painted in 17 states, plan on pa planning on painting all 50. Um, my favorite state so far has been Hawaii. That was so much fun. That's not a shocker, but I, yes, I can imagine. That was such a last minute trip and it was like, I'm just always kind of rolling with the punches and Hawaii just kind of presented itself and, um, kind of strange, but the guy I painted for in Wisconsin is the guy who invited me to Hawaii. He was going with a group of people. So it just, yeah, like all these people like stay within my life. I've met so many really amazing people and um, had some really 
struggle I've struggled I've had some really um hard experiences and then I've had some really amazing experiences so it's well been... through it all you have <clears throat> clearly um trusted something greater and and really relied on your talent it's very inspiring so I hope you continue to to trust that gut and to make this country and the world um, a little bit more beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for, you. for sitting down with me today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.